Okay, so in the forum, a user has asked how he can display posts from three categories on a page using ACF. So he says that he would like to uh, display four posts from a category called theme news and below that four more posts from a different category and below that four posts from a different category. So he says that he wants to be able to select these categories using ACF um, and he says because I might need to create many pages like this. All right. So what we can do is we can use ACF Pro to create a repeater type of field and inside that we can add subfields to um, to select a category and the corresponding number of posts to be shown on a page. So let me give you uh, an example of how this works. So I'm going to go to pages and create a new page and I'll just call this test page one, two, three. And inside this, I can have some content. Let's say this is the page content. So I'm going to publish that. And when I take a look at the page, so this is pretty normal. This is how it will look in Genesis. So if you notice here, we have a display posts meta box. And inside that, there is a table that has two columns, category picker and number of posts. So let's say I select category one from here. And the default number of posts is four. So you can leave this as it is, or you can change this, let's say to two, all right? And you can add a new row and select a different category. Let's say category two, and in this case, I want to just show one post. Okay, and then one more row. Um, let's say we select this uncategorized and we leave the default four. Okay, so when I go ahead and update, so what this is going to do is, this is going to run three, um, three WordPress queries. And in each of them, it's going to take this category and this number of posts and pass those things as arguments to Genesis custom loop function and it's going to show them below the uh, page content like this. So this category one is the very first one, the very top one we have selected here. So it's going to print out the name of the category and the category archive intro text and then it will fetch or show two posts. So this is the latest post in category one and the last but one in that. And then this is the second category, the one we have set here, where we have set one post. So it's gonna show one latest post in that category. And then in the last category that we have set here, it's gonna show the default four posts. One, two, three, four, okay. So there's an option here that I have added, which is to show just the link titles. So when I select that, so it's going to make changes to the loop and remove everything but keep the linked titles. So when I reload this, so here you can see that it shows the category name and just the titles of the post which are linking to their thermal links. Um, one thing I forgot to add is the fact that we can drag and drop these um, uh, rows so that we can control which order these posts appear in. So in this case, let's say I want category 2 to appear in the top and uncategorized posts below that and finally category 1 in this particular order. So we can, I can do the drag and drop arrangement, update the po a page and come here and reload. And that should show in that order. So category two, uncategorized, and category one. All right. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you. Bye.